Hey, this is Nick Storr for Sound on Sound magazine, and we're looking at subprojects in Reaper. Um, I've taken my drum project from the previous example, and I've chopped it up into this sort of uh, two-bar glitchy beaty thing. <laughs> Not really my forte, but for the example of uh, subprojects, it should do the job. So, listening to it, it's clearly just a cut-up version of that original drum loop. Very much business as usual, chop up some audio, turn it into something new, that's fine. But let's say now I've done all this work, I might have done a whole song like this, and now I decide, actually, I don't really like the sound of those drums, but I do like the editing that I've done. Because I've started with a sub-project, this is really easy to change. All I need to do, if you zoom in here, you can see that this is referencing an RPP, Reaper Project File, rather than a WAV file. So I just double-click on it and it'll open up my original project here. Okay, so let's say I just want this nah, much nastier, trashier kind of a sound. I don't want those direct mics in there. I can just uh, solo our room mic and our leak mic. And then all I have to do is close this tab. Yes, please. It uh, regenerates the project in project. Uh, wave file, and then I just uh, I hit play. So all my edits are intact, but with the uh, the new project source underneath. If I want to undo this, it's a simple matter. I can just go do that, save again, and then we're back to where we were. Simple as that.